It's umsum time. How do drones huh? fly? Simple. Like birds, they flap their wings. Oh, umsum. <laughs> to buy umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> Drones commonly make use of rotors to fly. Hmm. Just like a fan, when the blades of a rotor start spinning, they start pushing air downwards. While in response to this, the air starts pushing up on the rotor. Hmm. If the net force generated by the rotors in pushing the drone up is equal to the gravitational force pulling it down, then the drone starts hovering in the air. Hmm. If the speed of the rotation of rotors is increased to such an extent that the net force generated becomes greater than the gravitational force, then the drone starts going up, as in climbing. Hmm. Lastly, if the speed of the rotation of rotors is decreased to such an extent that the net force generated becomes less than the gravitational force, then the drone starts coming down, as in descending. Hmm. How does an airplane fly? Simple. Umsum makes everything fly. <laughs> oh, umsum. <laughs> Simply stated, there are four forces which are acting on an airplane. Lift. This force is generated because of the forward motion of the airplane through the air. Drag. This force is generated because of the resistance of the air to the forward motion of the airplane. Weight. This force is generated because of the pull of gravity towards the center of the Earth. And finally, thrust. This force is generated by the engines of the airplane. Now, when the force of thrust produced by the engines is greater than the force of drag produced due to air resistance, the airplane moves forward. Also, when the force of lift produced due to forward motion is greater than the force of weight produced due to gravity, the airplane moves upward. In simple terms, this is how an airplane flies. Hmm. Why do birds fly in V formation? Cause V is for victory. Oh, <laughs> dude. Flocks of birds like geese and pelicans fly in V formations to make flight easier. In V formations, when a bird flaps its wings, the air behind the bird gets pushed downward, creating a down wash, while the air towards its sides gets pushed upward, creating an up wash. This produces rotating vortices. If another bird flies in these up wash zones, it gets a free lift and glides due to reduced air resistance. Thus, birds are able to fly long distances without putting much effort and maintaining a clear line of sight. Besides this, since the bird in the lead faces greater air resistance, the birds keep changing their positions in the V and take turns as leaders. This maximizes the use of each bird's energy, allowing flocks to fly without having to stop. How does an owl fly so silently? Because of a soundproof jacket! <laughs> nah. Usually, when birds fly, oh. they make sound. This is because when they flap their wings, the wings create violent, unsteady movements in air. Hmm? This is called turbulence. Turbulence produces sound. However, hmm. an owl's wings <laughs> have some special features that help it to fly silently. What features? The leading edge of an owl's wing has oh. feathers that are serrated hmm. like a comb. When an owl flies, these serrations break air <laughs> into smaller streams. Then, as the smaller streams of air move towards the trailing edge, the soft fringe on the trailing edge breaks up the smaller streams even more. This causes very less turbulence, thus creating very little sound. However, even this little sound produced by turbulence is absorbed by the velvety feathers present on an owl's wings and legs, thus helping owls to fly silently. <laughs> Why can't birds fly in space? They want to, but I keep on bringing them back. What? Oh, I'm so. How birds fly can be best explained using Bernoulli's mm. principle. Wings of the birds play a major role in this. The shape of their wings causes air to move much faster oh. above their wings as compared to the huh? air moving below their wings. This difference in air pressure pushes up on their wings, creating a lift, thus allowing a bird to fly. 
Also, definition of to fly is to move in or pass through air with wings. Now, space is a vacuum. It has no air. Thus, without air, a bird will not be able to fly. Finally, even if birds were able to fly in space, they will not be able to swallow food. Why? Because birds depend on gravity to push their food downwards. Why do our ears hurt when we fly? Because they play heavy rock music in flight. Oh, um, some. Let me explain. When sound waves enter our ear, they make our eardrum vibrate and are eventually interpreted as sounds by our brain. Our eardrum is located between the ear canal and the middle ear. The air present in both these areas can affect the position of our eardrum. Now, before we take off, the air pressure in the ear canal and the middle ear is the same. When the flight begins to take off, the air huh? pressure in the airplane and thus the ear canal begins to drop. Now, due to higher air pressure in the middle ear, our eardrum is pushed outwards, <coughs> causing us pain. Similarly, the opposite happens while landing. Our eardrum is pushed inwards, again causing us pain. Why do some people have a fear of flying? Cause airplanes don't provide giant burgers. Nah. Hmm? One of the reasons for this is claustrophobia, the fear of being in enclosed spaces. Now, when in a car, a claustrophobic person huh? can open the windows and not feel ah. trapped. However, in an airplane, he can't do this. Hence, he experiences claustrophobia in an airplane. Second is not being in control of the situation. For example, a car is in our control. We can get down at any moment. But since the plane is 30,000 feet above the ground, we have no control over what is happening. Also, as planes fly at high altitudes, they are built to handle cloud turbulence. But when a person experiences such turbulence, it can make him anxious and increase his fear of flying. Besides this, media broadcasts the news of crashes over and over again, thus influencing us and creating a fear of flying. How does a fan give us cool air? Because it has a refrigerator inside it. Ah, you are just unbelievable. First of all, a fan does not give cool air. Huh? Our body loses heat mainly in two ways. Hmm. Firstly, our body heat gets transferred oh. to the surrounding air through a process of convection. Secondly, the sweat produced on our skin absorbs our body heat and evaporates into air, thus allowing us to lose heat. Ah. Now, without a fan, both of these above ways create a stagnant layer of hot humid air around our skin thus making it difficult to continue the processes of convection huh? and evaporation. However, when we switch on the fan, it blows away the stagnant layer of oh. hot air and replaces it with a relatively drier air, allowing the processes to continue and thus we lose more heat and cool down faster. Ah. Uh. Huh? Why does hot air balloon float? Because it has invisible wings! Ah. No. It is because of uh -huh. density. Oh. Density is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Lesser the density, lighter will be the object. Now, density varies with huh? temperature. Oh, dude, it is so complicated. All right, I'll explain. <laughs> when a hot air balloon is on mm. ground, the air inside and outside the balloon is of same temperature and density. However, when we turn oh. on the burner of the balloon, the air huh? inside the balloon starts getting hot. The molecules of air move faster oh. and spread apart, taking up more space. Hence, the air inside the balloon becomes less dense than the air outside. As less dense air is lighter, the hot air balloon oh. rises and <laughs> thus begins to float. <laughs> How do airbags work? They don't work. They chill and relax like me. Nah. Airbags save our lives during an accident with the help of a decomposition reaction. What? Yes. During an accident or collision, it just takes about 50 milliseconds for us to hit the steering wheel. So, there is very less time within which the airbags must inflate. Hence, 
When there is a collision, the sensors called accelerometers detect it and send electrical signal to an igniter. The igniter ignites a chemical propellant called sodium azide which decomposes, producing sodium and a large volume of nitrogen gas. This gas instantly inflates the airbag. Now, since this whole process takes just about 30 to 40 milliseconds, the airbags blow before we hit the steering wheel, helping save our lives. Mm.